on the realness. Who better to waste the next few minutes of your life with? I'm Rebecca Brody. And I'm Mason Jamal. Welcome to The Ring on AOL's Black Voices. Question today, Ms. Monica from Baltimore. What do you do when you find out your man you've been involved with for the last 18 years is a down low brother? Okay, this, this, is, this is big. I mean, first off, you should probably just take him shopping and, and have him give you fashion advice. I mean, that's, that's the only positive thing I can get out of this at this point. But honestly, I don't know how you spent 18 years not realizing that something else was going on. I mean, you, you really must have been sleepwalking through the relationship if this is the case. But aside from that, you know, I'm also curious, you say involved, and, and involved tells me that you weren't married. And that makes me question why you didn't wonder what was really going on. Because, you know, if you're, you're getting married, you know that somebody is making a commitment to you. If you're just involved for 18 years, after the first decade, you must have realized that there was something wrong, maybe, you know, something that you should question. So at this point, the, the only advice I could really give you is that I know you're hurt. You were, you were cheated on, essentially. You should definitely get tested because anybody who gets cheated on should be tested. And then maybe get a therapist and try to figure out how it is that you, you miss this big, blaring red flag. First, we disparage the down and out brothers. Then we marginalize the down low brothers. Yeah, black women want too much. Brother has to have a job, has to be decisive about his sexuality. It's, it's, it's too much, it's too much. More importantly, that aside, the down low brother is like the new millennium boogeyman, walking the face of the earth, spreading AIDS everywhere he goes, and frankly, is doing a disservice to the black community. I mean, it, you know, the, the irony is what I believe happens is you do this, you know, we, we run with this whole narrative of the black boogeyman, the down low brother. And then what happens is we frame this as what? A gay issue, right? And then so you have straight men who know they're straight, who are straight all day, every day, getting infected by whatever behavior they're engaged in with other women and what have you. And those are the ones putting black women at risk more so than this down low brother who is here or there, he's scattered. I mean, it's more myth than anything else. And so I think it does a disservice. I think, I think it tricks people into thinking, oh, well, you know, if I'm not gay, then I'm not gonna get infected. Yeah. And if I'm sure he's not gay, I'm not gonna get infected. And so furthermore, I think that Monica from Baltimore, she needs to write like an 800 word essay, submit this <laughs> to Essence or something like this. They love this, they love this. And if and if he was involved with a white man, that's a twofer. That's a twofer. <laughs> you got the down low brother and an interracial relationship. That right there is, you know, that, that's, that's classic essence material. But I think you do have to be decisive about your sexuality and you have to be honest about it. You know, and, and I think the more that society becomes accepting of homosexuality, the more that we can begin to allow people to be honest about it. So I think you're right. I think it, it has become about the boogeyman. And we need to stop uh, persecuting these people who choose this alternate lifestyle and understand that they're going to be as honest as they can be as long as we allow them the platform to be honest. All right, got to move it along. Our next segment, What I Love, What I Hate. What I love is a man with manners. I want you to open the door for me, pull out my chair. Please chew with your mouth closed. I mean, I'm, I'm looking for a chivalrous, wonderful man with manners. So if you have them, keep it up. Speaking of HIV, AIDS, all of that, you know, you know what, what I love? I, this is what I love. I love an unprotected cell phone conversation. I'm not into cell phone rubbers, cell phone condoms. I mean, I like my phone to be sexy. I like, I like, I like it raw. He's making my, love to my the cell phone, phone right conversations. Here. I like it raw. I don't want any covers on it. I don't, I don't want any. Another uh, thing, I hate, I hate colored cell phones. When men carry around red cell phones, do you find it attractive? Blue cell phones. I think you, you have to see... express yourself any color that you want. I hate that. <laughs> Black, raw, unprotected cell phone conversations. All right. Thanks for joining us for another episode of The Ring on AOL Black Voices. Please send us your questions to the ring bv at aol.com you can follow us on twitter follow mason at mason says and you can follow me at love coach